A link to the following article may be found in the below description box. This portion of the article explains a possible tipping point for increasing the rate of Earth's global warming. In short, increasing CO2 may cause an imbalance between heating from above stratosphere clouds and cooling from below. Losing marine stratocumulus clouds could create a mega hothouse climate. Stratocumulus clouds reflect a high percentage of solar radiation back into space. They may be at risk as climate deception fosters greater amounts of carbon dioxide to enter Earth's atmosphere. From news and blogs at Weather Underground, Dr. Jeff Masters May 6, 2019, 404 AM EDT. Losing marine stratocumulus clouds could create a mega hothouse climate. If humanity maintains its current business as usual emissions path for the next 100 years, the resulting 4 degrees Celsius 7 degrees Fahrenheit of warming may be enough to cause highly reflective stratocumulus clouds over the subtropical and tropical oceans to disintegrate, resulting in an additional 8 degrees Celsius 14 degrees Fahrenheit of warming, according to research published in February. The resultant hothouse earth climate, 12 degrees Celsius 22 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than pre-industrial levels, would be enough to melt all ice on the planet, raise sea levels by over 200 feet over a period of centuries, and produce heat waves too hot for humans to endure outdoors for over half of Earth's population, as currently distributed. The paper, from a team of California Institute of Technology scientists led by Tapio Schneider, was called Possible Climate Transitions from Breakup of Stratocumulus Decks Under Greenhouse Warming. The study used a specialized ultra-high resolution model, 50 meter grid size, that was detailed enough to resolve individual updrafts and downdrafts in stratocumulus clouds. Global climate models, with their grid sizes of 10 of kilometers, cannot resolve such fine scale processes. The new model found that when carbon dioxide concentrations increased from current levels of about 410 ppm to 1200 ppm, Stratocumulus clouds over the subtropical and tropical oceans became unstable and broke up into scattered cumulus clouds. The theorized breakup of the marine stratocumulus decks is because of a disrupted balance between heating from above and cooling at the cloud top. Because they are so bright and thick, marine stratocumulus are highly reflective clouds, sending much more energy into space than is radiated their way by the carbon dioxide that sits above them. As CO2 accumulates in the atmosphere, though, it sends more and more energy toward the top of the marine stratocumulus. Eventually, this leads to a breakdown of the fine scale upward and downward motions that sustain the cloud deck. There is uncertainty on where this threshold lies, since it depends on how much sinking motion, subsidence, is assumed to occur in the lower atmosphere from global warming. If the assumed amount of subsidence for every 1 degree Celsius rise in tropical sea surface temperature is decreased by 1% in the model, the threshold for stratocumulus cloud breakup occurs at 1400 ppm of CO2 instead of 1200 ppm. 